One of the suckiest things about driving your car in the winter is when you're already late for work and then you get in your car and your windows look like this. Some cars have a single button to defrost all the windows, but a lot of cars have controls that look like these. Since you're in a hurry, the question becomes what optimal combination of settings will defog the windows quickest? Lots of people just blast the windshield with hot air, but what if you use cold air? And should you be using recirculated air or air from outside? And does pushing the AC button or cracking the windows help speed things up? And if so, by how much? Recently, I had a disagreement with some friends about which combination of settings is best from a scientific standpoint. And if you look online, there are a bunch of different theories from self-proclaimed experts. So as a firm believer in the scientific method, I decided to test out my hypothesis. So for the past 10 mornings, with the help of some trusted friends, I've created a consistent environment to test all the different combinations and then document and rank the results. And the punchline is, I found there is in fact a specific combination of settings that will defog your windows in less than half the time. I also stumbled upon some additional tricks that can make a big difference. But before I reveal the best settings, let's get some understanding as to why they're the best settings by quickly reviewing the science behind what makes a window fog up in the first place. For starters, I think it's common knowledge that if you zoomed way in, the fog on your windshield is just little droplets of water we call condensation. And it's the exact same effect you see on a cold can or on a shower mirror, dew in the morning, your breath on a cold day, and even the clouds in the sky. All air around us has at least some moisture in it that we can't see called water vapor. The higher the humidity, the more of this invisible water vapor that you've got. And as soon as you get anything beyond 100% humidity, it's too much. And that's when it clumps together and forms these visible droplets that we call condensation. Now what's interesting is in a simple sense, hot air can hold a lot more moisture than cold air. In fact, at sea level, if this cube here had air at 103 degrees Fahrenheit that was fully saturated at 100% humidity, it would max out at 53 milliliters of water. But if that same cube contained cold air at 36 degrees Fahrenheit, it could hold a maximum of 5 milliliters of water, which is 10 times less. Now, again, this is a simplification, but I find it's useful to visualize the air as a towel that can soak up moisture. How much moisture you can soak up is determined by two things. The size of the towel and how wet it is already when you start to try and wipe things up. The size of the towel represents the temperature of the air because like we said, warm air can hold more water. Water. And the initial wetness of the towel represents the initial humidity of the air. So low humidity is like a fairly dry towel that still has a lot of capacity to absorb. Using this, you can now visualize what's happening every time you see some form of condensation. On a cold soda, the air outside the can is really cold, so it's like a big damp towel that has been shrunken down so much that at some point water comes out. In the shower, the air is warm, so it's a big towel. But it's so humid, the towel is fully soaked, so it loses its ability to absorb and water comes out. In the morning, you see dew on the grass because like the soda can, the towel has shrunk and water comes out. The same logic applies to clouds or to fog or to your breath on a really cold day. So for the air in your car to absorb the moisture on your windshield as fast as possible, we want a big dry towel. Knowing that, it should make a ton of sense why my experiments showed that these four steps will defog your windows the fastest. Number one, turn your heater on full blast. This is because like we said, hot air can hold more moisture, so you're increasing the size of your towel. Number two, turn your AC on. This pulls moisture out of the air as the air passes over the cold coil. So it's like we're wringing out our towel. Number three, make sure inside air circulation is off. Winter air is cold and we know it doesn't hold much moisture. So if you bring it into your car and then heat it up, it has a lot of absorption capacity. And finally, number four, crack your windows for just a little bit. Now, this may not be possible if it's freezing cold or if it's raining outside, but cracking as many windows as possible, even for a few seconds, helps by initially exchanging the humid air in your car with the dry air from outside. Now results will vary a bit depending on a bunch of things like the current weather, the kind of car you drive, but do an experiment and try these settings to see how much faster it is over the way you currently do it. And if these are the settings you currently use, pound it because you're already for a good Bill Nye the Science guy. If you're still having issues, you could try putting some kitty litter in an inconspicuous sock like this and then putting it by the windshield because it will help absorb some moisture. Or you could actually try an anti-fog window treatment. So here I tested a normal windshield versus a portion of the windshield I rubbed with anti-fog liquid versus a portion of the windshield I rubbed with Jurassic Park shaving cream. And it turns out the anti-fog liquid helps a lot. However, it performed no better than shaving cream. So
So save yourself a couple bucks. So there you go. Hopefully you learned something new and you can shave a few minutes off your morning commute. At the very least, you'll now know this is just condensed water vapor from a jet engine. Next time a Kardashian sister uses Twitter to warn us that the government is poisoning us with so-called chemtrails.